Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Today we are watching House of Dragon season 2 episode 6 and in last episode the main thing that happened is that Jace gave Rhaenyra the idea that they should reach further out and look for other people with potential Targaryen blood to maybe take a dragon to help them in this war because I think both teams now have realized that it is the war of dragons so they need dragon riders. Um, and obviously after losing Renice, they they've are they lost like one of their best dragons and one of the best dragon riders. So they need to replace her somehow. So I'm excited. I hope this episode someone manages to bond with a dragon and hopefully it's someone good. And let's start watching, guys. The Golden Tooth is honored to receive you, my Lord Lannister. The Lannisters are back. <laughs> Full of spirit. I bring a thousand knights of my own and seven times as many archers and men-at-arms. And lions. Tell my brother we are ready to march as soon as Prince Aemon is able to join us on Vega. <sighs> of course, more dragon involvement. The prince makes his answer, my lord? My men have had a long march. They are most eager to embrace the hospitality of your keep. I'm so sad about the dragons because like obviously we know from Game of Thrones that the dragons die out but like I, I know it's gonna happen but I don't want it to happen so every time they, they mention the dragons getting involved I'm like no please don't do that there is a large dragon in the Rivlands your grace my brother's army is strong but it does seem I am the prince that... regent not a dog to be called to heal <laughs> I love how vocal he is now now he has the power your irritations are justified, Eamon, but it does seem... I have a task for you. <gasps> Just ignoring and talking over her? Wow. Shows some respect to your mother. An offer of marriage, perhaps, to the Dowager Queen. Out of the question. <laughs> it's time you set out for Arenhall, I think. Well, power's gone to his head very quickly. Take what strength we have and force Damon and his river lords to fight on two fronts. His grace speaks wisely. God, I hate him so much. And you yourself? I'll fly out to meet you when the time is ripe. My uncle is a challenge I welcome. Oh God, is there going to be a showdown with Damon and Aemond? I don't even know who comes out of that, to be honest, because they're both ruthless. Mother? Oh, so now you're gonna give her some attention and acknowledge her existence. You know very well I represented your father during the last years of his life and I have been a counsellor to Egon. Capably so. Father's dead. Is he gonna remove her from the council? You served the realm well. At a time of need. Uh-oh, I think he's gonna remove her from the council. Need is ended. You are no longer obliged. <laughs> Neither of which is to be desired I in the case you of your seat, such as it was. Damn, the audacity. These are the monsters you've created, by the way, Alison. Have the indignities of your childhood not yet sufficiently been avenged? And honestly, I feel like his main bully growing up was probably Egon, from what we saw. Like, he definitely encouraged it. Can't be just removed from the castle like that. Egon may have not been a great, but at least... He didn't remove her from the council. And now he's accepting position as hand of the queen. With me are hopes of victory. There is still Damon and Caraxes. Damon is doing whatever Damon wants to do. Can't be relied on. Trying to raise an army for himself, <laughs> not for Rhaenyra. I must now proceed as if I stand alone. And I see now that to do that, I need more dragon riders. Mm-hmm. There are no more in your family, your grace. Your younger sons are babes. Mm. You lower the requirements. I looked into the history, and indeed it is true. Your grandmother's grandmother, Ariana, was born... A <laughs> oh, they are not impressed by this. The dragons are gods. Your grace honours me beyond what I deserve. Oh, at least he seems accepting, though. Yeah, screw you, old man at the back. Understand your peril, Sir Stefan. Yeah, you might die. That is my oath, your grace. Then perhaps the gods will favour us. 
I mean, if you don't try, you never have a dragon. So I think if I was in this world and I was given a chance, I would be like, yeah, you know what? Worth the risk. <laughs> I want a pet dragon. Oh, well, here we go. Back with Damon again. Is it actually him? Did you say it? The air. <gasps> Yay! I'm glad he's back. Even in vision form. You have no allies at court but me. I have only ever defended you. In everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. Tell him. I've decided. Don't to name a new heir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The one thing I do like about these dreams or visions he's having is that at least we get to see previous cast members <laughs> that are in season one. May I be of assistance to his? David needs to leave this area. It's clearly not good for his mental. Maybe if you're getting enough sleep, this old place is oh, you mocking me. <laughs> he's not mocking you. You resent my being here. Name is so paranoid now. Are an agent. Okay, let's. Behind. No, he's only been kind to you. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, calm down. Take a breath. Is he leaving? Well, here she is. You are not the player, but a piece on the board. As am I. For that matter. Calling him an NPC. <laughs> if you have any counsel for dealing with the River Lords, I'd be glad of it. Like kind of weird way, they're sort of friends, but not really. Tully's wisdom has kept the River Houses in line for centuries. They would kill each other to the last man if it were not for their liege lord. That dotard is of no use to us. But you asked for a counsel. Do nothing now. In three days' time, the winds will shift. Shift where? Is it gonna happen? I hope it does, but I have a bad feeling. <laughs> He's gonna get burned to death or to a crisp or chomped up. Hopefully the worst thing that happens is that they just reject him, they don't actually kill him. Like Veneera's already losing people. Maybe the dragons just won't even show. They're insulted. They're like, who the fuck is this? There's movement. Which dragon is this one? Act confident. Sea smoke. Oh, sea smoke. I heard us. The smoke is not happy about this. Do not show fear. He looks terrified. Like he's gonna poo his pants. No Harris. See smoke. Say it with your chest. Is it working? Or is, or is it a false alarm? Where he's gonna go and look fire. <laughs> oh, is it actually working? Or is it a trap set by sea smoke? <laughs> Give him a little pet on the nose. I've done it. No, don't say it, it's too soon. Don't jinx it. Uh-oh, sea smoke changed their minds. Sea smoke, you bad dragon. Sea smoke. That's some bad behavior. Yeah. Poor guy. Mother. That's a painful death, that is. I think it was the way he said I'd done it before he'd even like got on the dragon. Like, let's not speak too soon. The dragon heard that and was like, you fucking what? <laughs> What'd you say? Is this an order or a request? I will expect you to report for your duties. On the morrow. I guess it's a uh, an order them. Feasting and merriment for the new Prince Regent. 
And him always acting so correct. So that was the one who said he was related to Rhaenyra, right? Well paid and well fed too. And I swear that woman is the one who was sleeping with Aemond. Honey cakes, beef and gravy. That sound good. There is to be another revel on the morrow with dancing. That ain't right. It ain't right. <laughs> but he's gone now. And his rightful heir denied her seat. Oh, she's fishing for something. No use wondering what might have been. It seems some of the small folk are leaning more towards Rhaenyra now. As you know, when obviously Aegon hung up those rat catchers and now they're going hungry, people are going to start turning against them. Sea smoke has fled Dragonstone and Sir Stefan was a valiant knight. Most regrettable. If perhaps... Foreseeable. T smoke <laughs> burn him and just peaced out. <laughs> uh, his, his numbers I mean, you only few, tried once. Who else wants them to go? <laughs> it is my fault, I think, that you have forgotten to fear me. Deserved. Deserved. In fact, do it again. <laughs> do it again, Renee. He deserves it. Put him in his place. It was worth the risk, no matter the outcome. More good men killed. The two. <laughs> it's worth a shot. You had a lot to gain from it. It's not the only possibility. Might there not be others among the highborn of the Seven Kingdoms? And who will be so foolish as to try after hearing what befell Sir Stefan? I'm sure there's many volunteers. Roll up, roll up, take a number. <laughs> who wants to try and tame a dragon? But it is harder to wage war abroad when you must also keep peace at home. Then let us see to our plan. I love this duo. This becomes you. Holding a sword. I think she's a great character as well. I'm so glad she's on Rhaenyra's side and she's there to like offer Rhaenyra counsel because she doesn't have like many people she can trust anymore. <laughs> the small people are about to uh, have a riot, aren't they? That the small folk have become restless. So? So? <laughs> Think of the bigger picture, Aemond. Does Rhaenyra the Pretender who ordered the gullet closed and left them all to starve? They still look to you to ensure their well-being. You're still having feasts and everything. It does occur to me that your grace has yet to name a hand. Oh, here we go. This is what he wants. Do you take me for a fool? <laughs> On the contrary, my prince. Have little patience for the self-important Lord Laris. Yeah, call him out. Every king needs a hand. I'll make it your responsibility. Oh, he gave it to him? Considered for myself. Not to serve his hand, you toad, to fetch him. Send word to Otto Hightower. He's bringing Otto back! <laughs> That's actually smart from Aemond. Hilarious that he thought it was him for a second there as well. But also Otto, yeah. They're a mess without him. He is stronger than I thought. This morning his breath comes easier. He may yet live. Thank the gods. <gasps> dun dun dun! And Egon's gonna snitch. <laughs> oh, that looks vile. That looks so horrible. I'll see my brother. Hello. He's going through something right now, having his, I guess, bandages or whatever replaced. And Eamon comes in to just murder him, finish the job. <laughs> If I was him, I'd pretend. Egon has to pretend he doesn't remember what happened. Because otherwise, Aemon's just going to kill him. He's so vulnerable. <laughs> That's so mean, Aemon. I mean, Egon sort of sucks, but... My prince. You're in the most capable hands, Sir Grace. <laughs> What did he give him? The ball from the council table? See that he is made to rest comfortably. Comfortably. Uh, meaning no offence. Hmm? None of this is your fault. I want mother. Aww. He sent you away to keep you safe? Well, I know it's difficult, but it... Bones? Oh, signs of a dragon? What happened?
happened? Oh, look at the little baby dragon. It's so freaking cute. There is a large dragon in the veil. Rumor of it began shortly after the war. Which dragon is it? It is large and formidable. Can she tame it? Oh my god, I hope she can tame it. She deserves a dragon. If I was her, I'd be devastated that none of the dragons picked me. I'll send six good men to protect you on the crossing. Oh, six, how generous. Yo, go out and find that fucking dragon and tame it now. Lord Corliss has chosen to raise you up, to serve alongside him, and yet you still... Oh, he's got blonde hair growing through. The riches, servants, the Driftwood Throne. We spent the whole dragons. Or maybe he'll tame a dragon. Stop wasting your life waiting for something that'll never come. I'm guessing one of them is going to somehow claim a dragon. Probably Sea Smoke, because it just makes sense, doesn't it? He is always serving face. <laughs> they say you struck Lord Bartimus today. In view of the staff and guard. It was deserved. We Wait. may marshal the strength of the veil, Maiden Pool, and all our allies besides. We will still never match the strength of the green armies. We need more dragons. We need Damon. Oh yeah, and Damon. <laughs> My queen, our gift is sent. Gift? What are they sent? What is it? Did she send supplies? <gasps> she did! Uh, she's getting them on her side. Clever. It's a small sacrifice to make to really rile them up <laughs> into hating like Aemond and Alison. Like, even though she's not here. Oh my god, there's loads! Holy shit! Even though she's not here, she's still sending support to them, to the small people. His mending may be long and painful, but it is my sincere hope that his grace will be spared. And what will he be if he lives? I wonder if he actually does remember, or if he doesn't, and if he will snitch or not. I mean, his scars are looking better. Gwen. It is well that I found you. I wish to give you my blessing. Well. Wow. Uh, oh, him, sorry, or Kristen Cole. In Dowager. <laughs> I think he read right through her there. You're always his favourite. Strange there has been no word. Otto Hightower is ever resourceful. Maybe he's on holiday. I wouldn't blame him after <laughs> being kicked out. <laughs> he's stalwart. Clever. As adept with his loot as he is with his sword. She's like, have I at least had one good child? <laughs> he's kind. Yeah, that's what she wanted to hear, was that he was kind and not a psychopath. Like Aemon and Aegon. For all its privileges may, in fact, be a less than salubrious environment for the forming of young men. Was it the court? Was it their mother? It both. <laughs> Wish us luck, sister. I shall pray to the warrior for your safe return. <laughs> <laughs> he just seems fed up and tired, to be honest. When he first arrived, he was so enthusiastic, full of energy. It's been, what, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, and he's like, oh, I'm fucking tired of this. I'm tired, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, get off my screen right now. <laughs> What has she got in those little cages? Is it bugs? This one stopped singing. Isn't that strange? Is it a prophecy of some kind? <laughs> oh, puppy! <laughs> oh, they got food! Food! We're near a ship's ships! They came ashore in the middle of the night with gifts from the Queen. She thinks of us even now! Quick, get food for your families! Go, go, go! Very smart move from Rhaenyra. Very, very smart move. 
Although now people can fight over fucking lettuces, aren't they? Gotta be carnage, isn't it? Oh god. There's enough for everyone. It's gonna make Eamon look like a dickhead. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Your graces. We must leave. Now. Carnage in the streets. Find your flanks. This is what you get for not feeding your people. Test the train of fishes! Oh god, that are... That's a waste of food, guys. You're a fisher. Oh, when she fell, oh god. Please, get off! No! <gasps> yeah! Your swords! That'll get them on your side. By taking someone's hand. Oh my god, the car! Oh my god. What's, what's gonna happen? What, Rhaenyra sending food led to this? Oh my god, the King's Guard, they're getting messed up. Is, this, is the King's Guard just normal guards, actually? Oh yeah, they got the white cloaks. Ron fish thrown at her face. She got cut as well on the arm. I have to disinfect that. All of that just because Rhaenyra sent some supplies. Thank God she has that woman. I can't ever remember her name. The one who gives her counsel now. So glad she has her. Uh, uh, no more. My lord. Oh, bloody hell. Maybe because Eamon isn't playing his game, he's like, right, we need to get Egon back on board. <laughs> back to health. I came screaming into the world from the bowels of one of Harren's great towers. I guess you can relate, can't he? Because of his foot. People will pity you, either behind your back or in your presence. <laughs> oh, just give him his little pain medication. Your brother rules in your place now, which means that your life is in danger. But I think you know that. He knows that, but there's not much he can do. <laughs> In a weird way, I'm sort of glad Egon has someone on his side. Because otherwise, Eamon's gonna fucking... <laughs> he's gonna mess him up. <laughs> oh, is Damon still having visions? Was that? Who's he crying over? Is that their mum? <laughs> Was that his wife? The old man. Indeed. Young Oscar Tully is now Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. And he didn't have to kill him himself. So that's a good thing, I guess. What is the manner of Lord Grover's passing? Well, he'd been ill, of course. Ah, uh, not murder them. Our own healer, Alice Rivers, volunteered her Renowned skills. Oh, maybe she murdered him. <laughs> That's why she said, you know, don't do anything for three days and the winds will change. Oh, it was her. I like her character. I think she's very intriguing. <gasps> and Damon is falling apart. Oh man, this episode's almost done and no one's claimed a dragon yet. Have they given up already? Let's start getting randomers. <laughs> the volunteer. <gasps> is this sea smoke? Maybe because he keeps seeing sea smoke as well. Maybe it's going to be his dragon. Oh, the dragon's turning around. Oh, maybe the dragon's coming to him. That'd be cool. He's taking some swipes at him. So I remember the first shot we saw of sea smoke this season was him in it again, right? He smokes after you! You can't outrun a dragon. Oh, oh, oh god, that would hurt so bad. His poor shin. Where's sea smoke gone? Oh, well, there he is! <laughs> I mean, if he wanted to kill him, he would be dead by now. So maybe sea smoke is choosing a different, a different rider 
himself because like Rhaenyra said he misses his bond and he's like you know what that that person will do they tried to pay me this randomer don't want him that'd be so cool that's the case it's a warning to the usurpers that you have strength beyond what they accredited I thought you'd be pleased you should be it worked really well I think you are tired. My own son questions my capabilities. I mean, you are vastly outnumbered. Turned against me. It is more his way to disappear. In either case, I have lost him. And Corexi is with him. Hopefully he comes to his senses. And even if we somehow prevailed, how will I rule a kingdom when my own son doubts me? You have me? Yeah. Oh, I love them had his pleasure with me and when after many months of this it became evident that his seed had taken root oh god that oath has stood me well this world is cold and cruel and there are few in it who are steadfast does she now trust Rhaenyra? i think are steadfast oh i believe you are meant to be queen Vendera, you need to hear this. Oh, She needed someone in her corner, not constantly trying to tear her down. Oh. Is it... Escalating? I did not see this coming. <laughs> but I ship it. Love this for Rhaenyra. You get some go. Begging your pardon. What a terrible time to be walked in on. He has a rider. Who? Impossible to tell from the ground. The greens? Nope. Shall I summon your council? I guess Sea Smoke chose someone then. I actually love that. <laughs> Is she going to go and see who it is? Oh, that's the episode. Okay. Again, another great episode. I really enjoyed that one. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this series and I'm liking the developments that are happening. I love that Rhaenyra, again, made that move and sent supplies. And now the people are more on her side. And obviously they just massively turned against Alison and Helena. Which honestly, I feel sort of bad for them because... They are just not listened to, especially Alison. Like, she's now been removed from the council. She isn't in control of anything which happens with the supplies and the parties. Like, she's just sort of there at the moment. Not, no power, nothing. I do feel bad for them because they're the one who had the consequences and the repercussions of Rhaenyra's actions. But at the same time, you know, sort of deserved. <laughs> Although not Helena. I actually really like Helena. And I'm... Um, Curious about what her comment meant about like one of her buggers stopped singing. I'm wondering what prophecy that is hinting at in the future. Eamon, again, he has really come out of his shell since being in power. He's definitely a lot more outspoken and he seems just to know exactly what he wants to do and what he wants. Obviously, removing Alison from the council was a very bold move and bringing Otto back, I think, is actually a great idea. Because Otto, as much as I just really disliked him, he was a great hand and he knew how the politics worked and how to appeal to the small people and just the right choices to make so i'm sort of glad he's back but yeah i just really like his character and i'm wondering where he is because they actually haven't heard from him um damon i'm i wish damon would just get over himself at this point and go back to rhaenyra i hate that he's trying to build an army for himself because he's never gonna be strong enough to take on the high towers by himself and neither is rhaenyra they need to work together but damon's being so selfish and greedy and I'm hoping that these visions are helping him realize how selfish and greedy he is being. But I also love the witch. <laughs> the way she's like, wait for three days. And then that guy obviously died. Probably from her hand with poisoning or something. I really like her character. I think she's very interesting and intriguing. And I hope we get to see more of her in the series. But overall, a good episode. I'm glad Sea Smoke, it seems, has picked someone. And hopefully that will lead to be like, okay, dragons maybe want to pick their own person. And maybe that will lead to that. The romance at the end with Rhaenyra love that as well i'm so glad Renee has someone to be in her corner and to back her up and to say i support you and you can trust me because it must be so lonely for her so overall a great episode and i think there's only two episodes left of this season i'm scared how it's going to end but i'm excited to see where it goes 
So if you enjoyed this reaction, please remember to smash that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe notification bell. And as always, the full reactions are on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!